start. Let's topic. Let's go. Allegations. A very simple topic. You hardly have two questions on it. Okay. I wouldn't say it's a topic. It's an application. It's a feeling. It's a feeling. It's not a topic. It's a feeling. Okay. It's something that you can do literally well and present it in the best way possible. You use allegation. So what happens exactly in allegation? I'll tell you. Start with this. Let's say there's a shopkeeper. He has two types of rice. One rice is at rupees 12 per kilogram. The other rice is at rupees 16 per kilogram. He mixes these two and forms a mixture and the price of that mixture is 15 per kilogram. You have to find out in what proportion and what ratio has he mixed these two mixtures. Okay. So what you do is you write one quantity on this side, one quantity on this side and the mixture in the center and then just subtract 16 minus 15, 1, 15 minus 12, 3. That's the ratio. That's it. Done. Okay. That's what it is. It's a feeling. It's a beautiful thing to do. Okay. So whatever you have, subtract and you get the answer. You get the ratio straight. 1 is to 3. You want to reconfirm this? 1 twelve is a 12. 3 16 is a 48. 12 plus 48, 60. 60 by 4, 15. Just got reconfirmed. Okay. So where to use this? This can be used in two types of questions. Please take it down. Type 1. Type 1 question. Okay. In a farm, there are chicken and deers. Okay. It's a nice farm. Okay. It gives chicken and deers. Alright. Fine. The total number of heads, total heads are 50. Okay. Total heads are 50. And the total legs, okay. The total legs are 170. Find out how many deers and how many chickens are there. How many deer and how many chicken are there? All right, it's a very simple one. You can you can do it very very uh, like it's a very straightforward one rather I'd say. You can do it in a lot of ways. First is form equations and do it. H sorry C is chicken and D is deer. C plus D is fifty. Chicken has two legs. Deer has four legs. That is one seventy. Solving equation one and two. You will find therefore, chicken is something, deer is something, make a box <laughs> and that's the answer. Every step you get half a mark. Marks are good but there's no feeling. So we will not do it this way. Okay. Another way of sol solving this is using allegations. What is allegation? What you do is you assume. Allegation is about extremes. Keep this in mind. Allegation is all about extremes. So what you assume is all are chicken. If all are chicken, how many heads will they have? 50 heads. How many legs? 100 legs. So they'll have 100 legs. If all are chicken, they'll have 100 legs. If all are deers, they'll have 200 legs. Yes? But are all chickens or all deers? No. There's a mix of it. And that mix has how many legs? 170 legs. Alligate? 30, 70, 3 is to 7 is the ratio of, of chicken and deer. Total animals how many? 50 animals. Can you divide 50 in 10 parts? Yes. Per part 5. If per part 5, 3 parts 15, 7 parts 35 and that is the number of chicken and deer that you have in the farm. Clear? The second way of solving it. Using extremes and allegations. All right, perfectly fine. <coughs> hmm? So I have chickens. I'll assume all are chickens, all are deers. If I assume all are chickens, there are hundred legs. Assume all are deers, there are two hundred legs. But there are actually one seventy legs only. That's the answer. Okay, extremes. Take one more question. A boy has two types of coins. <coughs> Sorry for this. 
<coughs> a boy has two types of coins no first type only boy has two types of coins 50 paisa and 1 rupee total number of coins is 30 30 total amount he has in rupees is 25 find how many 50 paisa coins find how many 1 rupee coins okay so can assume the extremes assume everything is 50 paisa coins so how many rupees will you have 15 rupees because you have 30 coins assume everything has 1 rupee so how many rupees you have 30 rupees because 1 rupee you have 30 coins so we'll have how many rupees 30 rupees But actually, how many rupees? The mix of it, twenty-five rupees. Five, ten. What is the ratio? One is to two. That's the answer. Okay, so we have fifty paisa one and one rupee two parts. All right. Are we clear? So one and two, you can then find out the number of coins individually if you want to. One and two is basically three parts. And 30 coins, three parts is going to be how many? 10 per head, so 10 and 20. Okay. So if you have all 50 paisa coins, you'll make 15 rupees. If you have all 1 rupee coins, you'll make 30 rupees. But you don't have all 50 and all 1. You have somewhere in the middle, 25. And then you add it. Add it. Okay. Simple, convenient, good way of calculating. I'd say. Okay. Very brilliant way of calculating. By the way, it's not necessary to use allegation here. You can calculate it the way you want to. For example, for example, now if you give me this question, you know how I solve it. I will not use allegation also. I'll solve it in this manner. See, I'll I'll use logic here, or I'll use straightforward build up here. I'll use distribution here. I'll say there are fifty eggs, right? Let's assume all are chicken, so I'll get how many how many legs? Hundred legs. But actually, there are how many legs? 170, which means the 70 extra came from whom? Deers. But since I've assumed all of them to be chicken, I've counted two legs for the deers also. So only two legs more to count, right? So 70 per head, 70 legs are extra, and I'm counting two two legs per 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 deer. It's going to be how many deers? 35 deers. And how many chicken? 15 chicken. So I'll repeat this. I assume all are chickens. All are chicken. They'll make hundred, hundred legs, but the legs are one seventy. Who gave the seventy extra? The deers. How many? Uh, uh, how many you have to count for deers? Two left per head, because you've counted two legs already in chicken, of that deer. So two legs are left per head. How do you have seventy legs? Thirty-five people are there. Thirty-five deers are required. Sorry, not people. Deers. Thirty-five deers are required more. Okay, that's the answer. Same goes for this question. A boy has two types of coins, fifty paisa and one rupee. I'll assume all fifty paisa. If all are fifty paisa, I'll make fifteen rupees. But he's making how much? Twenty-five rupees, which means I have how much extra? Ten rupee extra. By the way, I've counted one rupee to be a fifty paisa, which means fifty paisa has been counted as the one rupee. How much left for the one rupee? Fifty paisa more. How many fifty paisa will make ten rupees? Twenty, and that's the that's the number of one rupee coins. Okay, so you can assume all to be fifty, all to be chicken. You can go the other way around also. You can assume all to be one rupee. You can assume all to all to be deers and go subtracting it. Okay, yeah. So that's uh, that's that's what I'm saying. Allegation is not a topic as such. There's nothing like you have to do it this way only. You can do it whatever we want to. All right. But the next type, I think personally, is brilliant when it comes to allegation. Type two. Brilliant. This is very brilliant. Okay. In what ratio two mixtures are mixed? In what ratio are the two mixtures mixed? In what ratio are the two mixtures mixed? If alloy one. Or rather, in 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 what ratio two alloys are mixed? Like though, two alloys are mixed. If alloy one 
has copper and zinc in the ratio 4 is to 5 alloy 2 has copper and zinc in the ratio 3 is to 2 and the mixture has copper and zinc in the ratio 1 is to 1 okay so your mixture has copper and zinc as 1 is to 1 your first alloy has copper and zinc as 4 is to 5 the next alloy has 3 is to 2 you have to find out how are they mixed okay and we'll allocate here it's very easy to do allegations here okay you'll get the answer in almost instantly you can take any metal you want what metal do you want copper or zinc copper okay copper let's say copper copper is 4 by 9 in the previous one first one is 4 by 9 it is 4 out of 9 parts total in this copper is 3 by 5 in the mixture copper is half yeah alligate but wait a minute before you alligate are you good with fraction subtraction of course not come on I know it okay uh, you are not good with fraction subtraction so we will make these fractions into integers we will multiply every fraction by 90 because 9 5 and 2 is 90 okay we will multiply by the LCM so if I multiply this by 90 how much do you get 40 yes or no because this is into 90 we will cancel 10 and 40 what about this into 90 how much 18 3 are 54 how about this into 90 45 now allocate easy now allocate what is this 45 54 9 and what is this 5 so the answer is you will mix them in the ratio 9 is to 5 Are we clear? Easy? Good enough? Let's move ahead. Yeah, take it down, please. That's how allegation works. That's it. Do type. 